In Austria, Fernando Alonso qualified ahead of Hamilton for the sprint race in 8th. However, on the day of the sprint, his car failed to start even when the other cars went off for their formation lap. This meant that Alonso could not start the race. And in the previous weekend at Silverstone, we saw Esteban Ocon retire his car in the dying laps of the race. So what caused both of the Alpine cars to have these bizarre retirements? Well, this has led the team to dig deeper and try to figure out why their cars have shown signs of unreliability. The team initially thought that the problem was a faulty ECU. Now keep in mind that the ECU is a standardized part amongst all the teams this season, just like how you have tires and other parts. Speaking on the issue, team principal Otmar Schaafsnau told Autosport that the team tried to replicate the problem in the factory. And that's when they realized that it was not the ECU that was failing, rather it was the power box that is supposed to give power to the ECU. The power box is not a standardized part on the grid. It's a part that is made by Alpine. So this is why Alonso had a blackout on the grid. It's because his ECU could not receive any electricity. So what about Esteban Ocon? Why did he have to retire at Silverstone? Well, he had a fuel pump failure. Fuel pump failures have been there since the start of the season. In the very first race of the season, Red Bull had to retire both of their cars. <laughs> in the very first race, the Alpine boss explained, the issues on the fuel pump is that we had a couple of early failures on the dyno. Therefore, we tried to fix these problems ourselves as the Bosch standard issue wasn't working in an F1 installation because it's a road car part. Several teams had this problem and us and Ferrari got dispensation from the FIA to do our own fixes. Therefore, we went our own route to fix the Bosch problem. And our own fix worked fine for the first 9 races. We had no problems on the dyno or the track. Then something happened, we probably saw a different type of loading or whatever reason and they started to fail. Bosch also improved from the beginning. They've made changes to improve the electrical connections so some of the teams used Bosch improvements and the other two teams used their own improvements. We are working on a new fix for ourselves in France and at the same time exploring what Bosch have recently done to fix the initial problem. The Alpine cars have been performing at a great level this season. They are level on points with McLaren in the Constructors' Championship. But Esteban Ocon thinks that the team can fight with Mercedes. Speaking on the upgrades that his car has received, he said, We can really see it now and yeah, I hope the next ones are gonna be as big. We still have work to do to be able to perform against the Mercedes because they are still too fast. So if they can, if the team can bring more of this stuff, we'll take it. I never thought I'd say it this season, but Alpine vs Mercedes could be a very thrilling battle to watch. So stick around to Fervent Motorsports as we bring you all of the details of this Formula 1 season and all of the exciting action.